Welcome back to Simple Machine. I'm Bree, the marketing coordinator here, and I'm sitting down with our president, John Morrison. Hey guys, what's going on? So today we're going to be talking about the top web design trends in 2020. So um, websites are so important for any business, and it's really important what your website looks like. So um, we're going to be going over some top trends that are beneficial for your website to look good, leave a lasting impression, um, and just look modern, updated, and taken care of, pretty much. So. Um, the first trend we want to go over is um, just the minimalism, black and white trend. It's super popular. Can you talk to us a little bit about this trend going on? Yeah, Toby, do you want to go ahead and, <laughs> and talk to us about that? <laughs> no, yes, um, definitely, you know, uh, people are, are you know, kind of cutting the clutter, making it very simple, um, you know, making everything as on the web as, as simple and as, as streamlined as possible. You know, minimalism is still in, it's still relevant. Um, and so uh, you want to make it, you know, when somebody comes to your website as clear cut as possible for them to navigate your website, find what they're looking for, find the services you offer, contact you, purchase a product, whatever it might be. And uh, minimalism just, you know, creates that foundation for you to be able to do that. Um, and in addition, you know, black and white on that same kind of token, it's, it's the most simplest way to design, you know, design color, clo excuse me, colors that play into the design or anything like that so you can really you know have very um, uh, intense contrast and stuff like that throughout the design to uh, help people and show people in a clear way um, on a mobile device people who are you know have trouble seeing the black and white just that that strong contrast is very very popular and very easy to read so um, you don't really need to reinvent the wheel now having some color pictures and stuff is, is great but you know if it if it, you can get away with it and have a completely black and, and white design then you know cool more power to you it's it's kind of trending here uh, at this time yeah it looks really nice yeah. too um so the next one kind of goes hand in hand with that is dark mode so we've seen this a lot with different apps and websites starting to use this with social media and our phones even can you go into that a little bit yeah you'll notice that a lot on you know programs we use Adobe you know, Photoshop Illustrator um, the programs that we use the tools that we use like Spotify Facebook you know all those things have a dark mode to enable your, your phones and and it really just uh, one it helps the user to be able to see um, basically it flips from what we currently know as the um, black on a white background to a, a white text on a black background and so you're cutting out a lot of that white screen um, you're allowing your user or people to you know it's a lot easier on the eyes so uh, less strain on the eyes more clarity more contrast and so you're starting to see that option available for a lot of applications a lot of sites and uh, people are starting to design that way you know instead of maybe white on a uh, uh, black on a white background the, the flip side and have a black website with white text so I'm um, just starting to think about things like that um, and, and looking at and paying attention to those dark modes and why they do it and kind of looking up the benefits and features of uh, you know, that mode, I guess you could say. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so the next one we want to go over is bold typography. This one looks really nice. It seems to be super popular. Can you tell us a little bit more? Yeah, I think it really just, you know, plays hand in hand again with the clarity of everything, the you know, just ease of use, the user friendliness, making it apparent where you want people to go, um, and you know, making things bold, titles bold, um, you know, the kind of the serif font is, is kind of not, you know, popular, so a strong sans serif font, bold, blocky font, you know, those things are trending, and so um, you can see a lot of bold typo typography um, nowadays on websites, just really making it clear where to go, what to do, and how to use the, the site or application and all that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so the next trend is going into elements. So let's talk a little bit about three-dimensional elements, shadows, layers, floating elements. What is that? Can you tell our viewer um, a little bit more about that? Yeah, you know, I think the only thing that's kind of changed um, in the last few, you know, last five, ten years as far as design, it's, it's always, it's been minimal for a while, minimal focus. Because of that user friendliness, moving into web, moving in, moving into multiple devices, um, but what we're seeing now is kind of taking it 
back a little bit and bringing in you know the, the shadows and stuff so you're still having a minimal look and feel but you're you're you know popping it off the screen with three-dimensional and shadowing and layering and um, it's really cool and exciting to start seeing people use that you know in a minimal way not really cluttering it you know if your business can get away with it if it's more of a creative uh, business or if it's, it's you know products that you really want to showcase um, you, know, you can really have some fun with um, using different you know, layers different tools to really add some depth to to your website yeah absolutely so the next trend we have is the user generated animation can you tell us what that is yeah um, basically that's kind of playing off of what we just talked about in the three-dimensional layers and three-dimensional uh, aspects of websites is that you're now allowing we can allow users to kind of play with those layers and so um, you know, our website alone, if you go to our home page, we have our Jeeps on there. And, you know, as you hover over them, you can kind of move the Jeep around. And there's different things that we've done for our clients to just make that interaction fun. Um, you know, so moving the layers based on your mouse hover or clicking will allow something to do something. So allowing the user to kind of generate or, or make that animation happen behind your layers or through your layers is really starting to pump up pop up and it's becoming really fun, uh, a fun way to design your website and allow your users to have fun and, and again, really showcase who you are and, and that kind of thing through your story. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the next thing we have is uh, color trends. So can you tell us a little bit about gradients and a luminous color scheme and why this is a trend? Yeah, yeah. I think, you know, the ability to have um, the layers now and the, the depth Websites, we're starting to see, um, you know, maybe images that are glowing and are neon, or you know, have that luminous effect where you can see through them. Uh, you can, and it's really kind of playing off of that depth and those layers um, through that, uh, you know, that luminous aspect. And then gradients are coming back. I think you know, before that minimalism, five, ten years ago, again was very flat minimalism. Now it's minimalism, but with some depth. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so the last trend we want to go over is hand-drawn elements and just uh, adding animations to your photos. This has become really popular and big. Can you talk just a little bit more about that? Yeah, um, you know, with that, I think uh, all the tablets that are coming out, the you know, the iPad Pros, the um, Microsoft Services, the, there's a lot of more, a lot more ability to animate and programs um, that are out there and. Uh, I think, you know, humanizing your brand through, you know, not using stock imagery or even just images of your business, or your building, your people, you know, actually having illustrations, um, almost like a mural, you know, when you walk into your restaurant or your store, you know, that kind of feel, that organic imagery that, you know, only uh, that wall has, your website could be that piece of art too, where you can have illustrated effects and, um, you know, illustrated components to really make you stand out and or even seeing those two combined to where you have, you know, maybe a black and white site or a very standard site with images, but you combine, you know, you combine uh, illustrated aspects or illustrated components onto actual life, you know, real life photography. So just playing around with the different, you know, uses of technology nowadays and making your, your site stand out, but most importantly, kind of leading into the next point, making sure it's you know representing your business in a way that, that makes sense. Um, that's you know going further for your business. Um, uh, you know we're in a time now that businesses are having less and less interaction with storefronts and uh, with people and with products and you know all that kind of stuff and reviews and all that. And so um, if your if your website can be that forefront for your business, that you know uh, that um, storefront to allow customers to gain that interaction of how it would be if they were in your store if they were using your cool um you know your cool products or whatever it might be you, know, you can use those elements and implement it into your website so people can get a, a real um good idea of how uh, you want them to perceive your business and uh with, you know without the, the interaction that we used to have yeah, absolutely. That's so important for your business to um, 
for your website to really capture your business, its characteristics, how it's unique, um, like you said, just how if someone were to go into your store or restaurant or whatever it was you, that you did, um, how they would capture who your business is there, you need to capture that on your website as well. So that's why these trends are super important for your business to stay up to date, to stay competitive, to leave a lasting impression and really just grow your business. Um, so these are all things that we do here at Simple Machine. We build WordPress websites from the ground up. We do it to capture your business's characteristic and story. And so we'd love if you'd just give us a call. We'd love to help your business out and subscribe for more videos just like this. Contact us, we're happy to help you out. Thanks so much for watching guys, we appreciate it.